it's another wonderful weekend for learning new things and exciting discoveries. Join us as we scour the metro for amazing finds just in time for the much-awaited oh holiday goodness. season. Yes. yes, all happening right now on today's episode of Modern, Modern Living TV. TV. Following our series of inspiring women, we're here to meet one fantastic Filipina who has turned her family's manufacturing business into a global design brand. She is a mother, a designer, a model, and an educator. We're here to meet Amina Aranas Alunan. Hi, Amina. Thank you so much for having us at your store. Thanks for coming. I know you're really, really busy. First of all, let, let us know what you do. My main thing is at Anas. You know, I started really in the fashion industry um, creating bags. It's a really a family business. So um, I work with my mom and my sister. And then about 10 years ago, I started SOFA. And it started as a fashion school, but we really evolved and have gone beyond fashion. Even so interior design. Interior design, furniture design, um, architecture, we're going towards that route also. So right now, it's really like a design college. But how inspiring because, you know, apart from just creating things yourself, you're helping other people create mm -hmm. as well. It's really exciting. Many of our students come in with zero skills and, and now they are in the industry um, with their own practice, with their own brands. Fantastic. I think that's so fulfilling, right? To be able to give back to where you came from and... And, you know. and not only fulfilling, it's also, it really helps me. Like, I learn so much from the students. Design education is evolving. And so what I went through um, is so different also from what we are offering at SOFA. So what do you see are the sort of trends for Filipino designers like in the coming years? A lot of designers are really looking within themselves. Um, it's really about looking, asking themselves who I am, um, what, what do I stand for? And it's really not so much anymore about what are the, what are the global fashion trends. Yeah. You know, it's really a it's really becoming a true um, form of self-expression. With a couple of time-consuming businesses under her wing, we wonder how a mom like Amina handles it all. Well, it was harder for me when my when my children were younger, yeah. in a oh, way. Well, I guess I'm just really lucky that I manage my own time, that um, because I have my own businesses, I can sort of you know, say what time can my meetings be, you know, be scheduled. Um, and I really am quite conscious of that. And what do you do on your alone time? Well, that's when I go, I go get the facial. Yeah. I do my beauty stuff. I used to get so bored sitting, but right now I really take it as my, you know, my quiet time. Or sometimes, I, well, I do like getting together with my girlfriends, having a drink, yes. you know, those yeah. things really, really help. Right, so Aranas, um, this, how long have you had this business? We're celebrating our 16th year. I used to attend Manila Fame with my mom, and that's when I really I noticed as that why aren't any of these available for us to buy? So we started out doing bazaars. Yes. So we were doing bazaars just for um, the first, I would say, six years of the brand. And then I went to study abroad. When I came back, that's when we started opening the store. From its humble beginnings, Aranas came to be known as a precursor in bringing Filipino artisan crafts into the chic realm of the fashion world. We've also sort of solidified, you know, our brand story, mm -hmm. which is really celebrating a life of leisure. Okay. And for us, it's something that gives you that sense of escape, relaxation. And we also see leisure as, you know, 
for us, like the handmade is something leisurely. It's not a fast way of manufacturing yes. fashion. And people appreciate the small details now, exactly. right? I mean, you have to find a way to stand out and become relevant. The products themselves, what we feel sometimes, you know, they're not. Many people say, oh, but is that just for the beach? We forget that the Philippines is a tropical country. Exactly. You know, so you can wear resort wear all year round exactly. if you want to. Exactly. <laughs> Even if you are in, in, the, in, a, in your office, you can wear one of our bags and somehow it gives you that sense of escape in the office. I agree. Yeah. Let's move on to Aranas mm -hmm. too and uh, how you started doing home stuff. We really wanted to do something that was more lifestyle. And in fact, our family also does have history in home. For example, these chairs we're sitting on is, is one of our um, hand-carved um, They're beautiful, chairs. And really beautiful. It, and many people would ask us if they were for sale. Yeah. So I decided to reproduce them. This is one of your classic pieces, right? Yeah. Amina took us on a tour of the store and we can't help but be charmed by her wonderful creations. From her unique totes and satchels to these exquisite accessories, so the pineapple is something that we introduced in 2013, I think. Yeah. And yeah, somehow it has become a brand signature yeah. also. So, cute. so this really one, nice. it's the same um, weave as the Charlie, which yeah. is the Solihia weave. And of course, her noteworthy furniture pieces all painstakingly made from natural local materials and by a talented pool of Filipino artisans. Aranas as a brand truly redefines luxury as we know it. Thank you so much, Thank Amina. You. Thanks I think, for you know, coming. The people here are really inspired by you know just to be surround yourself with beautiful things, and mm -hmm. I like how you turned something that you really love from you know childhood and then yeah. turned it into a business and also teaching other people. And I think that's really great. You know, Thank so it's you. not just for yourself, but you're sharing sharing it. the love. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>